Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Hart and I'm a doctor here in our city. My job is to help take care of the health of our citizens. Now not all of my patients are healthy when they come to see me, so I have special tools that help me see inside their bodies to find out what is making them feel so yucky. I have a stethoscope to listen to their heart and lungs. I also have this special light to look in their ears, nose, and mouth. But there's an invisible armor that I wear every day, 
and it's more powerful than any of my doctor tools. It's called the Armor of God. My light is really helpful, but I can't do anything well without the Helmet of Salvation from God's armor. It helps me remember that God loves me. There's a verse from the Bible that helps me remember to put on the Helmet of Salvation and all of God's armor every day. Let me hear you say it after me. Put on all Put on all of God's of God's armor. Armor. Ephesians 6:11. Ephesians 6:11. That's it. Here in the city, we sing a song to help us remember all the pieces of God's armor that we need to put on every day. Stand up and sing it now. The armor of God fits good on me. It makes me strong as I can be. I can stand against the enemy. Cause the armor of God fits good on me. Put on the belt of truth. My good news boots. Getting dressed and ready to go. The shield of faith. The sword I raise. God's word is what I know With all my might I'll do what's right With the armor of godliness My helmet's on My salvation Now I can stand strong and pray Cause the armor of God Fits good on me It makes me strong as I can be I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God Fits good of truth, my good news boots, getting dressed and ready to go, the shield of faith, the sword I raise, God's word is what I know, with all my might, I'll do what's right, with the armor of godliness, my helmet's on, my salvation, now I can stand strong and pray. Cause the armor of God fits good on me It makes me strong as I can be I can stand against the enemy Cause the armor of God fits good on me The armor of God fits good on me Good on me, good on me The armor of God fits good on me Good on me did a great job singing that song. Now go ahead and take a seat. One of my favorite pieces of the armor of God is the sword of the Spirit. The Bible is the sword of the Spirit. Would you like to hear a story from the Bible? Yes! Great! Well, let's all get ready for the story by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click. click. Now, let's put on our special eyes. Zoop! Zoop! Once there was a royal official whose son was so sick that he was about to die. The official heard that Jesus was nearby, so he hurried off to find him. Let me see you pretend to run like the official. <laughs> Great job! The official believed that Jesus loved people and he knew that Jesus could make his son feel better again. So he asked Jesus to please come to his house and heal his son. Friends, let me hear all of you say, please. Please. That's it. After the official told Jesus about his son, Jesus told him to go back home. Jesus said that his son would be healed. So the official rushed home to check on him. Before the official even got back to his house, one of his helpers met him on the road. The helper told him that his son was feeling all better. Jesus had healed the official's son, just as he said he would. Let's all clap for Jesus healing the official's son. 
Jesus did that for the official because he knew that God loved the official and his son. God loves all of us too. He loves us so much that he sent his own son, Jesus, to die on the cross and save us from having to take the punishment for all of the wrong things we do. The helmet of salvation helps us to remember how much God loves us. Every time we put on God's armor, we have the power to be an everyday hero. When we put on the helmet of salvation, we can remember that God loves us and there is nothing we could ever do to make God stop loving us. So, let me hear you say this after me. Put on, put on, the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation. You've got it! When you put on all of God's armor and pray, you'll be strong enough to stand up to any evil that comes your way. Hello, boys and girls. It's Arnold again, and I want to talk to you about the armor of God. Today we're talking about the helmet of salvation. I have my helmet on. The helmet of salvation is when we remember that God loves us, that Jesus died for us, that we're never alone. It's this piece of armor that helps us to never worry, to never doubt, and to never be afraid. So I want to encourage you to put on your helmet of salvation. God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Boys and girls, I'm so excited about this new series called The Everyday Armor of God, and I think you will be too. This is a time for us to learn that we don't have to be afraid, that God is right there with us, and we're gonna learn how to put on the armor of God. But right now, I'd like to take this opportunity to pray with you. So if you'll bow your heads with me, and just agree with me, and believe for wonderful things. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you right now, Father God. And God, I pray over all the boys and girls that are listening to today's message, Lord. God, I pray that you will give them the strength, the understanding that they need to know how to put on the armor of God. And to know that by putting on your armor, Lord, that they are safe, that you are right there with them, that you are blessing them, protecting them from all harm, Lord. That God, they don't have to be afraid of the devil because God, they have their strength in you. And we thank you in the name of Jesus, amen. How exciting is that to know that we have God walking right next to us, protecting us, helping us, giving us the strength and the courage to believe in us, knowing that we love God so much. Bye boys and girls, we'll see you later. Guess what? God loves you and wants to be your friend. John 3.16 says, God loved the people of this world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who has faith in him will have eternal life and never really die. You can't be friends with God because of your sin. Ecclesiastes 7.20 says, Not a single person on earth is always good and never sins. 
What is sin? Sin is doing or thinking something that God says is wrong. God made a way for you to be his friend. He sent Jesus from heaven to earth to take the punishment for all of your sin. Just knowing about Jesus is not enough to fix your friendship with God. You need to admit you have done wrong things and you are truly sorry. Believe in your heart that Jesus died for you and that God brought him back to life. And commit to following Jesus as the leader and Lord of your life forever.